Welcome to this uh, Windows and Computer channel, and this is another update on the April 2019 update or version 1903 of Windows 10. So, of course, a few more questions to answer and a few observations of my own. So, of course, I've been using this uh, version, which is build 18.362, for almost a week now. And um, overall, you know, it's going well. Like I said, there is that delay at the startup that I didn't have before. But overall, it works well. I've got no problems. I've, you know, used my main PC doing everything that I do, including um, all of the, you know, uh, the live streams and stuff like that. Got no problems. It really, really is working well. It seems to be fast once it's, you know, up and running. Got no issues. It seems to be fast. I haven't seen again the um, problems that were from the um, you know the kind of flashing screen with Word uh, afterwards because I've continued working so I don't know if uh, it was just a temporary thing but apart from that it really really is a, uh, a good version and it works real. Now we are April 1st today and of course that means that this is the month when this thing is going to start rolling out if all goes well they are fixing the you know bugs that are left so this should be released this month at some point hopefully without any problems and this will of course be accompanied by a cumulative update so any glitches any problems that are still being reported they will be fixed with a cumulative update at the moment of release I also mentioned and a few of you have asked again even though I posted a video um, the anti-cheat software that made a uh, bug check or a, a blue screen of death is fixed. So that means that if you are a gamer, um, mainly one of the games that were affected was Fortnite, you are okay now. It's uh, really the anti-cheat software needed to, needed to be updated. It was not a Windows problem itself. Also, of course, there are still a few glitches uh, that are reported of known issues, you know, like the um, Realtek SD card readers that could affect some users, and the XFi Creative Sound Card also that has some issues. It would seem that both of these are to be fixed by the manufacturer. So that's, once again, two things that aren't Windows related and the problems. Apart from that, most of the people that have updated to 18.362, April 2019 update, seem to have a good experience. So that's good news for the rollout because that also means that, you know, things should be okay when it rolls out. Um, except for the fact that, you know, I told you I got a little uh, slowdown at the startup. It's kind of slow to start compared to the previous version. I'm not alone because I've seen in the blog post a few people saying, well, you know, there's this delay at startup that I didn't have before. So, you know, we'll, of course, have maybe that fixed in the next um, cumulative update. And, of course, don't hesitate to go and post a feedback about it. I did. You can vote my feedback. And um, I did talk about a uh, delay at startup that wasn't there before. So, hopefully, this is going to be fixed in a cumulative update. What's the date of the release? We still don't know. And Microsoft has two things that they didn't say yet. The name the official name, they didn't really say that it was going to be the April 2019 update. This is from what we actually deducted off of things and signs and, and, and you know, some people have noticed a few little things like that. Also, the um, date of the rollout is not out yet. You know, it's still technically on the insiders only, so it's, of course, not out and uh, tested into the release preview from what I believe and uh, let's hope they don't jump over that because <laughs> release preview um, a lot of people you know have complained about that last time the October 2018 update was not sent to the release preview which is a few million people testing and uh, it turned out to be a big problem so it's coming out this month and it could be any time this month I mean April has 30 days so um, at some point a lot of people have been asking will i have it the first day this will roll out in waves very slowly at first because that's the way that it works 
and as time goes by they will actually go faster and faster. How do they choose your PC? Well your Windows operating system sends telemetry out and so what they do is they look at the telemetry and they actually look at um, what you know is compatible or not in your machine with that telemetry if everything seems to be you know green and everything seems to be okay they technically push it to Windows Update to you so that you can actually update and get it uh, on your machine there's of course going to be that you know it's, I find it funny because they always call it the seekers there will be that period of time when they release it where they're gonna say well it's available for seekers and that means that if you manually go and do a, a Windows update check it should appear if it's compatible with your machine and then of course there will be the regular rollout um, once again a lot of people are wondering and scared of um, you know the consequence of well if I don't have the April 20 the October 2018 update you know uh, could that cause a glitch in the April 2019 update will something be missing once again not to worry about that every new feature update is its own install of a full version of Windows 10 that means if you jump over version 1809 there's absolutely no problem there you'll just be in the April 2019 update you'll have skipped a version honestly at this state and at this time I think you're better off jumping over a version than having that installed you know this week for example and then a week later you got another install it's kind of you know two big installs which is not necessarily the best thing in the world so um, don't worry and once again if you don't have the October 2018 update not to worry 74 percent roughly 74 percent of all of you don't have it yet so you know it's the majority majority of you are still on the April 2018 update so you'll just jump over and, and, and get to the April 2019 if you don't get it so not to worry it's not a problem so of course on this channel this is the month where we are going to observe um, the rollout and uh, throughout this week we'll have uh, lots and lots of uh, videos showing you the new features of this new version of Windows 10 if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching.